This module is sponsored by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Today, we're at the Fort Lauderdale Aquatic Complex, home of the International Swimming Hall of Fame. We are here to learn about water safety. Look, there's my friend Bruce. He's the president of the International Hi, Swimming Hall of Fame. Hi, children. Welcome to the Hall of Fame pools. Are you ready to learn about water safety? Yeah! All right, let's go to our pool. The pool. Wow! Children, use your eyes and tell me what you see. Big pool! The two big pools are used for competition and for lessons. A clock! The clock is used to keep time during races. He's a lifeguard. That's Chase. He's going to be our lifeguard. Hi, Chase. Hello, Bruce. Hey, Penny. Hi, Hi, kids. How do we know Chase is a lifeguard? What is he wearing? He's wearing red. His whistle. That's right. Good job. Another way we know that Chase is a lifeguard is the white cross on his chest, and it says lifeguard. Now today we're going to be doing some swimming, and we always need to have an adult watching us to make sure we're safe. So we always need to have a watcher. I am going to be your official watcher. This sign means that my job is to watch you while you're in the water. All right, so let's make our way over to the pool. Come on, guys. What else should we look for, Chase? Well, some pools have gates, and if there's ever a gate, you should never go in or near a pool without an adult. But since we have an adult, let's make our way to the pool. The next thing we need to look for are safety signs. Do you see any? Right there! Oh, that's right. This is a no diving sign. And that means that the water in the pool is too shallow to dive in. Now, does anybody see any other safety signs here? Which ones? The number ones. The numbers, that's very good. The numbers tell us how deep the pool is. The higher the numbers, the deeper the water. That means that this pool is only four feet deep, so that means it's about this high. But since we're only swimming, let's make our way over here. Come on. Is there anything else we need to know before we get into the water? Well, the most important safety rule is you need to know how to swim. Does everyone here know how to swim? I know how to swim. All right, now let's all walk feet first into the water. Come here, everybody in. Feet first, feet first. Help each other. All right, now. Wow. Whenever you're in trouble in the water, you always want to find a way how to keep your head out of the water. Do we swim like a turtle? Come here. Ready? Let's float on our backs. All right, now can you say help? Show me how we scream for help. Help. There we go. All right, very nice. Now, each of you are going to show me how we swim all the way to the ladder. Ready, Mr. Cole? Swim all the way to that ladder. All right, you ready, Miss Angie? Go. All right, Miss Emily, you ready? Let's go. Come on. Let's go all the way to the ladder. Go. Yeah. All right. Great job. Now remember, if you're ever swimming and you get in trouble, don't panic. Just keep your face up and swim like an animal. Whoa. To be a good diver requires a lot of practice and a lot of skill. You have to be able to control your body while you're flying through the air. Wow. Bruce, how do we determine the winner of a diving competition? Well, when the divers enter the water, they make a small splash a smaller splash, and the diver that has the smallest splash wins. Oh. Swimmers also participate in races. Swimmers swim fast, faster, and the fastest ones win. Another sport's water polo. Pass it back to him again. Go ahead and shoot, shoot. It's like soccer in the water, but you use your hands 
and the team with the most points wins. Bruce, these kids are so good. I bet one of these days they make the Olympics and win a gold medal. Well, in fact, Penny, some of the kids who have trained here have gone on to win Olympic gold medals. Why don't we go back to the museum and I'll show you some of those real gold medals. Wow, that's exciting. Let's go. Okay. Come on, children. Yeah. Welcome to the International Swimming Hall of Fame Museum. This is where we recognize and honor people who love swimming and who have excelled in water sports. That is excellent. Can you show us around? Sure. There are so many things to see. Beautiful costumes, famous divers, and Olympic swimmers. You like to see a real Olympic gold medal? Yes! Okay. To get a gold medal means you're the best in the world. When you win an Olympic gold medal, you stand on a podium and everybody cheers for you. Now let's see what you remember about water safety and see if you too can win a gold medal. There are four tips we learned today about water safety. An adult should always be with you when you are near the water. Never open a locked pool gate. If you feel you're in trouble, act like an animal. Stay calm and yell for help. The most important water safety tip is to learn to swim. Good girl!